of the mountains in defeat comes General Tomoyuki Yamashita, who called himself the Tiger of Malaya. The Japanese surrender party is relieved of its sidearms and samurai swords. One orderly has a live grenade in his pack. The surrender at Baguio is to be witnessed by General Jonathan Wainwright and British General Sir Arthur Percival, who himself surrendered to Yamashita at Singapore. The bullet-headed 59-year-old Japanese is responsible for the deaths of thousands of allied prisoners in Malaya. He once boasted, all I'm going to ask MacArthur is yes or no. Now surrender terms are laid down to Yamashita. 40,000 Japanese troops in the Philippines, remnants of their once great army, must give up. There is no bickering. It is yes or no for the Tiger of Malaya. As General Wainwright watches, he may be thinking of another surrender at Corregidor, or of his humiliation, insults, and beatings at Japanese hands. Here is a scene he must have dreamed of many times. U.S. Major General Levy terminates the meeting. This concludes the ceremony of surrender. The Japanese representatives will be escorted from the room under guard as prisoners of war. The entire ceremony has taken just 11 minutes. As military police heard the enemy delegates outside, General Wainwright remarks, they are the last. The war in the Philippines is now over. New Bilibid prison, once a house of horror for interned Americans, is Yamashita's final destination. He joins some 10,000 Japs inside, where a cell in the death row awaits him. Asked whether he would commit harakiri, he laughed and shook his head. In captivity, the once boastful Yamashita is a meek and docile man. The tiger has been caged.